Hey guys, welcome back to the Local Leah Project, or welcome here if it's your first time. I'm so happy to have you. Hit that subscribe and join the Local Leah family as I go through this journey of discovering more about countries around the world. Today I'm diving back into the UK. I just did a video very similar to this one, um, but this one is Five Most Charming Small Towns in England. It's very short. Uh, it's only three and a half, uh, about four minutes. So uh, let's dive into it and let me know what I should check out next in the comments below. Hello guys, welcome to Love is Vacation YouTube's channel. Now I want to give you information about... Oh guys, I honestly, I always dislike when it's like, I really dislike the the automated voice kind of thing. Five most charming small towns in England. Number five, Castle Coombe. The Cotswolds area of outstanding natural beauty has a lot to answer for when it comes to beautiful English. It's extremely charming. Extremely charming. How old is this? Let me know in the comments, guys. Towns to match. Castle Coombe is one of them. Claiming to be the prettiest English town, comma, the rest of the world has listened. Various movies and TV series have been filmed here, including Steven Spielberg's War Horse and Downton Abbey. Historical. I don't think I've seen those. Well, as ever, the imposing 15th century St. Andrew's Church reflects the former prosperity of the Cotswolds textile industry. There is even some historical five star accommodation, the 14th century Manor House Hotel. Number 4 Livnum. Medieval buildings lean higgledy piggledy in Livnum like something from another time. In the 15th and What did he just say? Higgledy piggledy? What did he just say? Lean higgledy piggledy in Livnum like something from another time. In the 15th and 16th centuries, the town was famous for its wool, and one of the richest settlements in Britain because of it, but fell into decline with cheaper exports from Europe. Now it's like walking through a fairy tale. Hundreds of half-timbered buildings spell out the past with a To be honest with you guys, majority of European towns seem like a fairy tale to me. Because it's just so different. It's so different from what I'm used to. Contemporary infusion of eateries and places to stay. You can even sip tea in the Tudor Tea Room at the Livnum Guild Hall, one of the finest examples of Livnum's heyday. Number 3 Beer Yes, in Devon there is a town called Beer, unfortunately it's named after Old English word Beru, meaning Grove. Nevertheless there's a disproportionate amount of pubs in this seaside town, all serving excellent local ales as well as the local speciality of crab. Steeped in tales of smuggling, the meandering hike down Hooken Cliffs to the west of town is It's very beautiful. It reminds me of somewhere, I can't put my finger on where. But it certainly reminds me of somewhere. This picture does, anyways. Great for imagining yourself as a smuggler of old. Just out of town are the 2,000-year-old Beer Quarry Caves, famous for its beer stone dash fine textured limestone that was used in Westminster Abbey, amongst other places. Number 2 Hawkshead. Carefully. Oh, I love this. I love the backdrop here. I'm a big fan of hills and mountains. <clears throat> I'm not sure why, they just make me feel so happy. Like one of my favorite places in the United States is Colorado. And uh, of course it depends on where you are in Colorado, because there is a lot of flat land in Colorado. But uh, if you're in the Rockies, it's just my, my happy place in the United States is right there. Anyways. The preserved Hawkshead was once home to William Wordsworth who described it in his poem The Prelude. Beatrix Potter also lived here. Her former residence now open to the public, a great opportunity to feel snug inside a real English cottage. Hawkshead is a tourist mecca not only for its whitewashed cottages, old pubs and cobbled streets, but also for its location, the Lake District. A beautiful English town famous for its lakes, fells and forests, hiking in English countryside is supremely idyllic here. Number 1 by Barry. Quintessential English towns means bucolic scenes of tiny cottages and rolling green hills. That is the essence of Byberry. Arlington Row, 
a particularly picturesque section of protected houses in the town, features on the inside cover of all UK passports. Strolling around Byberry and falling in love with the place is the main pastime here, a centre. Let me know if any of you guys live in Byberry. For countryside walks and tea rooms. Located in the Cotswolds, a region renowned for quaint towns and lovely countryside, it does not get more charming than this quiet slice of pastoral England. Thank you for watching. Okay, that electronic voice was a little bit annoying, but I did enjoy checking out those towns. Let me know where you live. If you live in any of those towns, let me know. And please hit the subscribe and join the local Leah family. I will continue to learn more about the UK and other European countries, and soon other countries around the world as well. So uh, with that being said, you guys have a great day wherever you are in the world, and I will see you soon.